I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at Peak Design's 10th Kickstarter, Mobile. For the last week, we've had our hands on these, and we've been able to try them out and formulate some thoughts. We'll be taking a look at the Everyday Case, Universal Adapter, Mobile Tripod, Wall Mount, Bike Mount, and Car Mount. To note, Apple has just released their similar MagSafe technology built right into the iPhone 12 models. Keep in mind, Peak Design Mobile is compatible with other mobile brands besides Apple too. All these models are in pre-production, so things may change in appearance and function based on the final versions of the product. Peak Design has other accessories coming out too and plan to continue to grow the ecosystem. So far, we are excited about what we've seen. We'll leave a link to the Kickstarter down in the description below that you can use to back the project and support our channel at no additional cost to you if you wanna check this thing out. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this one. Let's dive in. All right, we have the Everyday Case and the Universal Adapter here. Both of them use this zirconium ceramic up here on the square piece, which is safe for wireless charging. There's no like massive magnetized thing here. Um, so that's safe for wireless charging. I did try this one with my <clears throat> Nomad base station stand and it sticks out a little bit far in the back here. So it does not actually charge. Of course, Peak Design is gonna have wireless chargers in their ecosystem. Uh, so you can look forward to that. The fabric here is blue sign approved. It's got a bit of a nylon scratchy feel just holding it up to the to the mic there and a really nice touch in the hand the phone case is slim overall that also feels good in the hand it doesn't bulk it up you got this kind of like rubbery material on the sides here that help with grip now these stickers use 3h or uh, 3m vhb adhesives so they're decently permanent peak design actually recommends uh, wrapping some floss around this and like pulling it off if you do want to take it off um, it also does stick better to solid surfaces. So I have this plastic cheapy case. If you've seen a lot of our other videos, you may notice that I use a Rhino shield that's got kind of a porous leathery material. Doesn't really work well for that type of um, material. It doesn't work well for silicone either. Now they do include an alignment jig here to help you get that exactly centered in the middle. So I appreciate that. Little touches from Peak Design are always nice. You got these hash marks. You can really center that universal adapter in the middle of your phone. One other thing to consider here with this and a lot of the other accessories that stick is you wanna be sure you're positive of where they go before you stick them down because they're stickers. Once they're st stuck, they're kind of stuck and they are hard to move around. So that's one thing to consider with this and accessories like the car mount, which we'll get into in a second. So this is the mobile tripod. It comes in this handy little case so let me just pull that out. There we go. It's kind of like a little credit card dimensioned thing. So I've got a card here. Obviously it's a little bit thicker, but you can see there's this like kind of wedge to it that goes down. So I've been using this thing for about the last week. Really enjoyed using it. One of the things, I'll just show you how it works here. So uh, you can kind of kick this down in the kickstand mode, or you can fold these out for like a full tripod mode. And basically, I'm just gonna quick show you. Right here, we'll go into kickstand mode. Boom, just fold that back. And I've loved having this thing for video calls. Like this is about 10 times better than, you know, just holding your phone and trying to have a video call. If you can set it up like this on the table. Um, I just had a call with my friend, we were eating lunch together, and I just set it up like this and we chatted. It was really nice over FaceTime. So that kickstands up like that. This also can kickstand like this in landscape mode. So the thing that I like about it too is you got this ball head here, just like a normal camera tripod. So you can kind of move it around to wherever you need to, to get that kind of perfect angle. And uh, some of the Peak Design people also say this can be used as like a grip as well. So if you flip it, it's easy to flip into landscape mode too. You can use it as like a grip if you're like shooting or something like that just by holding and grabbing it there. So that's kind of a nice thing as well. Um, and then you're gonna notice that it's kind of flopping down there. 
So I'll talk about that in a second. But first of all, let me just want to put this into tripod mode so you can see how that works. Um, I've been shooting just a couple of notes videos for the team with this thing over the last week. And one of the things I've noticed is that it can kind of start to get a little out of whack. So you kind of have to just keep it adjusted and compared to like this Joby. So this is what I use um, for just right now for like mobile photography. So the phone locks on the inside here. Obviously this is quite a bit bigger, but you can kind of set this down and like, you know, it can be at weird angles and things like that. I know Joby actually makes a smaller one, maybe more size like this, but this is just what I've used so far. You can kind of get that at weird angles. But um, when you get this one, it can tend to like collapse in on itself, but it's adjustable, which I'll get to in a second. If it is in that kickstand mode or tripod mode, it starts to go down. You can see that it just kind of can start to like flop downwards. So it won't stay up if you get it at too low of an angle. But Peak Design totally thought of that. And there is this included magnetized uh, tool, which is totally awesome. So that you just like can adjust that here and uh, tighten or loosen that ball head just to make it tighter. So you can see now it's like really quite, quite rigid and we can get it much lower than we had before. And that'll help keep it in place in this tripod mode as well. But since the legs, like on that Joby, the legs just go up further, you're just not gonna be able to get like as good, you know, of a, of kind of a, a stand with that. So before I forget, I'm just gonna loosen this back up. So I mean, it's quick turn and then just pop it back right inside of here. Um, that's a little bit loose. So yeah, it really doesn't take much. We just tighten it up because I want to show you one more thing and I'll show you with this phone because of course the Max is heavier. But um, this uses their soft lock magnet system. The bike mount uses a hard lock, which I'm going to get to in a second. I'll just pop this back in here. Um, but I mean, it doesn't, it's also not perfect either. So it sticks in pretty nicely portrait, landscape, but it can also fall off with just a little bit of kind of maneuvering. Whereas like, again, that Joby, you get this locked in. I mean, that is just completely uh, locked in here. Of course, it's a little bit bigger, but that thing is not going anywhere. So if you're gonna be, you know, going around, gunning, doing some shooting, you want like a bit of a grip on your mobile phone, this is a little bit of a better option. But if you're just looking for something lightweight and, you know, super just portable and easy, you can stow it in your pocket. I really love it for that reason. But you're just gonna kind of run into, it can fall off pretty easily. Right here we have the wall mount. It came with two in the package and they were actually combined at first. So I thought it was kind of this, crazy kind of like two layered one, but they're combined pretty magnetized. So they're hard to get apart, but this thing's a little bit of a sleeper. We've tested this on the fridge. It's nice if you're like following recipes, if you want to use it on the fridge or even like your stove or um, an oven hood, if you want to magnetize it there. And then there's also this 3M adhesive tape here in the back. If you want to stick this somewhere to a wall or something like that. And this is just great because it's basically a stand for anywhere. And if it's magnetized, you can move it around. Of course, if it's stuck, um, it's gonna be stuck there for a while. Peak Design does recommend using this on um, either like kind of nice primed surfaces so it doesn't peel off the paint when you take it off. So definitely note that. And as far as how it attaches, it just goes in the phone like this. Now that's actually perfect that that happened, that it kind of went diagonal there. So, I mean, you can flip it into landscape mode portrait, whatever. But one of the things you'll notice is it's th that I don't really love about it is that it's kind of this not really like perfect lock. So if we take a look at something like the bike mount, we've got this square in the middle where it centers it and it locks it in. And of course they have the hard lock as well, which we'll get to in a second, but this can kind of, you know, flow around. And I think there's four magnets on these sides here. And then I'm uh, not really sure what's magnetized in the front of this. But that's one thing that I was kind of yeah, like that. I was just kind of like, I kind of just want that like center lock. Not entirely sure. Maybe it's like harder. They don't want you to like pull it off the wall. If this, you know, the magnet on the wall is like not as strong or the, the type of uh, metal that you're attached to is not as strong. So they don't want you to pull this off with the wall mount. And I'm not exactly sure. I'm totally just guessing and speculating, but that's one thing to consider. And yeah, this thing's a sleeper. I mean, there, when you start thinking about it, there's so many applications for it cooking, working out, 
Um, if you just want to like stick it in your bathroom on the wall while you're brushing your teeth, totally the applications are endless, which is really exciting. Low profile, looks good. It's got that blue sign uh, kind of material on the outside here, so I think it looks really nice as well. So there you go, the wall mount. And now moving on to the bike mount. Yes, you should sign up for Pack Hacker Pro, just not when your bike is moving. So the thing I like about this is that it's angled so you can stick it out right in the middle of your bicycle. And uh, you can also, if you have a bike computer, you can also mount it so it's facing backwards and your bike computer is out front so this can kind of go back, go backwards so you can uh, have your phone there. Now, it does sit out right in front of you, which is great, nice and centered right on those handlebars. And one of the things I really appreciate about this is the hard lock. So this thing is just, it's not going anywhere because it's locked inside. Um, I've waved it around even harder than this, but I just want to get it on video here to show you that that's not really moving anywhere. And I'd be even more comfortable with the case versus the adhesive here. Now I just wanted to compare that to what we learned earlier with the tripod. There you go. Tripod falls off because it's got the soft lock, but this bike mount has the hard lock going on. So press one of these buttons and it just pops right out. There's a magnet and these little clasps that you see here. You only have to press one button to get it out too, which is on the nice side of things. Now installation is really easy. For me, I just stuck this right around my handlebar, this ring. You uh, use this included wrench here to unscrew this. It opens all the way up and then you can just install it on your bike. They also include two little spacers that uh, come open as well that you can put around your handlebars if you do have uh, thinner handlebars there. So I'll just show you like that. There you go. I didn't need my handlebars a little bit fatter, so I was totally fine at just going metal to metal direct. And then another thing to bring up here is they have this little GoPro mount uh, for an action camera or a light that you can install at the bottom here. So you just unscrew this, put that washer aside, and then you kind of stick this at the bottom, it mounts down there, and then you can attach like a GoPro or an action camera. So that's a nice little additional feature as well. Love that Peak Design is always thinking about those small details. There you have it, the Bike Mount Pro. Next up we have the Car Mount. Peak Design will have a charging and non-charging version at launch. We have the non-charging version. And for installation, Peak Design recommends sticking this on your phone, finding a place on the dash while it's stuck on your phone, and kind of positioning it, and then peeling this off, sticking it on, leaving it for 24 hours before using it at all. And now we had Mark, our camera guy's car, we were trying to find a good spot for this. And it turns out that his dashboard is just a little bit more porous, so there was really um, no great spot to stick this on. The hard places on his dashboard, if we stuck this on, it would affect the uh, ability to control the radio or the climate control. So his car wasn't really good for this type of mounting. Now it's perfect for air vent mounting. Um, so we have this iAudi mount that we've been testing for the road trip packing list. He would really get along well with that car mount. Your mileage may vary with whether or not this is gonna stick on a good place in your dash, so make sure to check it out. Um, if you have a non-porous space, that is always better for this. And it is worth noting that Peak Design is working on possibly including, uh, their, their engineers are working on like a suction version and an air vent version. So we'll see if that comes out any time soon. Another thing I wanna bring up here is the tab that's on the back here. So if I bring this up and compare it to the wall mount version that we've seen, I love that this completely locks in right? So it's locked in. There's no spinning it, nothing. It's not the hard lock with, like we saw on the bike mount, but it's a little bit of a better lock than the wall mount, which can then slide around a little bit. So really appreciate that that is there. It just locks it in. And uh, with the adhesive here as well, Peak Design, I'm not sure if there's going to be an official way to do this, but in the media video they sent us, they recommend wrapping dental floss around and pulling to take that off. So there you have it mobile from peak design check out the link down in the description below if you want to check this kickstarter out and if you do back it using that link it'll help support our channel at no additional cost to you thanks for keeping here at pack hacker your guide to better gear we'll see you in the next video